Hello guys, welcome to a new series on the channel. Um, I'm gutted that I accidentally saved over the creator club I was doing. That was a really dumb move and clumsy from my side. But yeah, it happens, you know, you learn from experience, whatever, we move on. But I'll, I wanted to do a Premier League team since uh, I didn't really finish the creator club. But yeah, so the team I settled on was Leicester City since, you know, they, they've been one of those teams that are under the radar. I don't think they've made many transfers this uh, off season. So yeah, let's go ahead and rebuild them and maybe get them a... Uh, a second Premier League title and a Champions League title. So here are going to be the set in legendary uh, four minutes. The currency is going to be pounds, no job offers as well. Uh, I'm going to leave the rest on the same. Um, I don't know if I want to mess up the group stage since uh, I know a lot of teams like Spurs qualified for the Champions League. So I'm just going to leave it the way it is. But yeah, this is the setting for this. Uh, this is how the team is looking like. I did mess around with the formation and stuff. So I think this is the one that fits us. So yeah, I will be playing up top uh, Jamie Vardy and Pat Sandaka and on the wide position we'll be playing James Madison and Harvey Barnes also we'll be playing T. Lemons in the number 8 and indeed in number 6 and Barrera, uh, Fofana, Suginsu and Justin the back in Schmeichel so we definitely need to get a new uh, defender I think Suginsu is a little bit overrated and yeah and also a new sentiment I think T. Lemons in real life he's rumored to go move out of the club so yeah let's go ahead and do that. the season is going to be Kagalar so Yunsu he's off to Juventus for 24 million which means we'll be getting 20 million of that transfer. Yes, center back signing it will be Alessio Romagnoli from AC Milan his contract was expiring so we actually got him on a bargain so let's see if he's willing to accept important that's fine with him four years that's cool no release clause as always um, I think he'll be fine with 60 68k please don't walk out that's fine okay welcome to the club Alessio Romagnoli individual confirmation we got him on actually dirty cheap there 19 million for a 26 year old he actually got a face cam so which is really good to see but yeah here we go our first game at the episode will be taking on Man City in the FA community shield here let's see if we can start off really strong here picking up maybe a trophy to add up to our cabinet let's see if we can do that this is how we line up there again Schmeichel and goalkeeper in there um, Sanchez, not Sanchez, Yuri Tielemans and um, indeed they're holding the number 8 and number 6 but this is how Man City line up as you can see they're playing the 4-3-3 full and I don't know why Haaland is not playing I am definitely sure I updated the transfer so yeah um, I don't know why he's not playing because of the formation or something yeah but if you saw um, Calvin Phillips is also playing which is nice to see as the Leeds fan that actually hurts a lot like seeing uh, Calvin Phillips play in the Manchester is just hitting different but here we come again we had a couple really good chances I gotta say um, we dominated a Man City in the first few half of the mid here this was a beautiful finish shot from uh, James Madison there I'm um, unlucky for it just to hit uh, I mean straight past the post there again um, shout out to Pereira he was defended really well on the right uh, wing position there um, put in a Sterling on lockdown but here they come again um, we actually gave them no opportunity the only chances was to take shot from us at the box but we do get our first goal of the game here right before halftime here courtesy of uh, Jamie Vardy the terrible terrible goalkeeper from Ederson I expect a lot better from him but yeah we'll take it it does go in but here in the 53rd minute we put in a good cross and then Pat Sandaka for a second I thought he was uh, getting there but the goalkeeper does come before him and he was fouled there calling for offside not offside I mean free kick but here they come again in the 58th minute Man City looking to press hard here as they have the ball they're starting to look to wiggle past James Justin who's actually really been decent in this game so I don't think we need a new left back maybe in general transfer window but I'm really content with the team but this is another goal we scored here Man City avoiding us a lot of space here and Jamie Ward isn't gonna miss from that because this guy is just too clutch but he does make it 2-0 here in the 63rd minute to give us a comfortable lead against uh, Man City but I was still looking for uh, a, one more goal here as I know um, this game is a little bit more scripted than I thought but yeah so here's another good chance we had I meant to pass it to uh, Harvey Barnes who is making a really great run down here but here they come again Sterling passing it to the um, goalkeeper there and who do make a great save here but they do eventually get a goal back here again um, I think it was like a little bit deflection from Kasper Schmeichel there but regardless uh, Phil Foden does make it 1 0 here as we almost conceded a goal here. But again, great defending from Kaspi Schmeichel there, holding on to it as in the 87th minute, do get our final goal of the game here. Pass and Daka, this guy is going to be absolutely beast. I can already tell the pace is absolutely medicine. But he does make it 3 1 here in the 88th minute and a late goal to seal um, 
for us the first trophy of the season is going to be the FA Community Shield and I'll see you guys at the transfers we make. Sold is going to be Mark Albrighton, he has agreed a deal with Crystal Palace for 6.2 million. It's going to be Yannick Vestergaard, he has agreed a deal with Hertha Berlin for 5.1 million. Here we go, our first home game will be taking the Wolves here under the Midlands side, if I'm not sure. I think they're from the Midlands, but that's beside the point. Let's see if we can pick up three points against them here, as this is how we line up a uh, strong 4 1 2 1 2 formation here. Um, Pereira, Yuri Tielemann, who's also on the transfer list, uh, could be going, uh, I'm not sure, but. Here's how we line up against uh, Pat Sandaka and Jamie Vardy is going to be a really strong menacing attack but this is how the Wolves line up looking like. Jose Sader, uh, Nelson Semedo, Billy Boli, uh, Cody, Ro Robin Sais I think his name is. Yeah, Ruben, D uh, Ruben Neves was a player I was looking at for the replacement of UDT elements and also they have Moutinho there and up top they have Raul Jimenez who is a really good player but we do consider good chance here in the first few minutes of the game here too. Wolves here. Unfortunately, I didn't take advantage of that, and it was a beautiful save from Cashfish Michael, who's really been handy, but I'm not sure. It's just too early right now. But yeah, some of the saves he pulled off was crazy. But here they come again. Uh, what's his name? He Chan, Hwang He Chan. I I'm sorry, I, did, I just butchered his name. But here we come again. Wolves on the on the ball here again. Mutino looking to find someone inside the box. He actually plays Ricardo Pereira there, and we do manage to clear the ball here. But here we come again. Our first good chance at the game here was the pass. With too much pace in it and unfortunately Jamie Vardy can't get there in time as we look to get another good chance here. Nice pass to find Jamie Vardy and the passing play from us is absolutely gold. But unfortunately we couldn't touch the final finish there and yeah we were saved by Jose Sardi as we have another good chance here and we do manage to defend it. But here we come again. This game was just end to end but unfortunately there wasn't good chances or good enough chances that we can put in the back of the net but Wolf played really well defensively that's what you expect with the five at the back formation but here they come again Moutinho has been really good at controlling the possession but yeah we played best but here we come again Johnny I don't even know there was a guy named Johnny playing for Wolves but that's first me but here he comes looking to find someone inside the box here as we look to defend really nicely and again Cashmish Marco with an easy save here but here we come again in the 71st minute with the, one of the chances we had again uh, James Justin's cross was overhead and it was saved there by the defender as they looked to get another good chance in the 80th minute this time Nelson Smith with the former Barcelona guy looking to put in a cross but great great defending from James Justin I gotta say James Justin has been impressive but this is the goal which should have put us in the back of the net but um, unlucky for us Harvey Burns just was lacking that composure in front of the goal and we do miss here and who knows that could cost us but we settle for a draw here against our midline rivals in Wolves here we go, our last played game at the episode is going to be against West Ham United away at the London Stadium here. This is how the West Ham lineup is looking like. They have Fabianski in between the posts, Fredericks, Dawson, Zuma and Cresswell and they have um, Shochek Rice holding the two pivots and they have uh, Jesse, is that Jerry Bowen, Ben Rama and Fornals and up top they have Unacho I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he played for Genk. He's really tall. Uh, center forward there um good good play for um what's it called Roto but i'm not sure he has the rating in the premier league we'll see we'll find out but this is how our lineup is looking like again very very usual lineup up top you have pat sandaka and jamie vardy and pivot of ndd and ub tillemans which uh he will be on the shopping list i think in real life he actually requested a transfer move so yeah, we'll see how much uh, we can get for him and if we can find a replacement in time because it could be really, really uh, tight at the end of the transfer window. But here we come again. Uh, we had a first good chance, but again, there was nothing in it. But here they come again, West Ham with the first piece of action here. Um, good pass and play between Ben Rama and Jared Bowen as he looked to get find someone who's out the box. Again, James Justin got absolutely played here as we can see the space here. Justin. I mean, not Justin, Jared Bowen. I'm confusing between Justin and Jared Bowen. But we do defend it well. I'm um, good recovery from James Justin as we look to counterattack them here. Harvey Barnes uh, looking for someone to find. No support for him. This is what I'm talking about. But he does find James Justin. He was really playing really well in today's game. He puts in a cross again. No real direction to the cross. And he finds um, Fabianski in between the net. But here we come again. This was the actual good chance we had. And this should have been at the back of the net from Pat Sandaka. But it was... Um, terrible, terrible miss for him, but we'll see if he can redeem himself as we come again here. James Madison looking to control the ball, looking for someone out the box. Great skill moves from Yuri Tielemans. Again, 
it was defended really well by West Ham. Um, here we come again. Another good chance we had here. Patson Daka has been a menace, but he's just lacking that finishing touch in front of the goal. But say less as he puts in an absolute beautiful shot here. Beautiful finesse shot to find the back of the net. Fabianski can't do anything about it. And that could potentially be goal of the season. Who knows? Still too early to call it, but we'll find out. But here we come again. James Madison played an integral part in this game. I think his defensive uh, skills was really um, crazy. But yeah, let's see um, if we can do something here. As we look to get another good chance there, again, it was good defending from West Ham as they have another good chance here. Again, it was an end-to-end -end game, but this time two goalkeepers were on top. Nice clears from the corner as Jared Bowen has the ball, looking to find uh, Declan Rice there, and we do defend it really nicely. For a second, I thought that was creeping in the back of the net, but um, yeah, we do save as we can see the terrible chance here again. Oh my god, the, the fireworks behind me is going crazy. I think it's like 4th of July in the United States, so... It's gonna be crazy. I'm um, sorry about that if you hear like firecrackers um, in the mic. Yeah, but we do have another good chance here. Final chance of the game. A nice cross to find uh, James Madison there, but the rebound from um, Harvey Barnes was called for offside, and that's how the game's going to end. We do pick up three points against West Ham. Here is our objective for this season. They want us to finish in Champions League place. Uh, reach the round of 16 of the FA Cup. Uh, they want us to win the Europa League. I think we can do that and get three wins in the cup matches uh, should be doable and also get the team's experience level up to 28 i don't know if i'm going to do that but the financial they want us to increase the collapse worth by 20 percent through uh sales and competition prize i think you can do that as well so yeah very dual uh doable objective in my opinion except for the one finishing champions league i'm not sure about that one but the rest I think so we're going to be against AFC Bournemouth which I'll be quick Sim. I did make only one change to the team Adamo Lukman will be coming off for Harvey Barnes and the rest of the team is unchanged let's see if we can uh, pick up three points and continue our streak and yeah we do pick up a big win here um, Lukman with a race and Madison getting the other goal Lieberman has agreed uh, to go to Manchester United we will be getting 90 million first so yeah I think we'll be in the looks for a new solution there and they, um, we do need a new center mid, I think. So looking at the team, I don't think we need to upgrade other positions. Just a, a left back and uh, a new center mid, I think. And the rest of the team, I'm really happy with. So yeah, get in the comments and suggest uh, a left back and a new center mid. And also, this is how our budget is looking like. We do have a lot of money, actually. 170 million to spend. So yeah, go crazy on it. For episode one of the Leicester City Cream Mode will be Jamie Vardy. Uh, this guy has been really good. He scored, I think, a brace against Man City. Um, yeah, he was really good. And also, I could give a shout out to Pots and Daka. He's been really good, especially that goal against West Ham was crazy. But yeah, um, if you if you made this fan to the episode, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care, peace.